everyone welcome back to my channel i'm kayla and it's time to crack into a good book so today's video is going to be the book shopping tag and i recently saw eric from break even books do this and i thought it sounded fun so here we are so at this point when i'm pre-filming you know like i don't know if i've been tagged by anybody i currently have not but if i am tagged by anybody i'll leave their channel linked in the description below but let's just jump right in. There are 11 questions, I think, and it's all about just your preferences with book shopping. And I thought this could be fun. So the first question is, how do you buy books? Physically because you believe in the power of touch or online because interactions are overrated. So I actually do both. I do really like going into a store just to browse and, and look. I think, you know, going into a bookstore is a lot better for just like looking around to see if there's anything that catches my eye. But online, I tend to be a lot more focused with what I buy. And I do like purchasing things online because I like getting mail. <laughs> like I don't get that much mail and it's nice to have something to look forward to. So yeah, I, I definitely do both. I think probably these days it leans more towards online, especially, you know, with the pandemic, I wasn't really wanting to go into stores as much, but now that I'm vaccinated, like I feel a lot better about it. The second question is, do you prefer bigger bookshops or smaller ones? So you know, I don't know if I have a preference, you know, with like Barnes and Noble being a bigger bookstore, it is nice that they have a little bit more variety, but there are some really great smaller local bookstores that I found that are, you know, just fantastic. And like some of them are used. And so they tend to have an interesting variety. I know like one of our local bookstores features a lot of North Carolina authors. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, it kind of depends on what I'm going for. Like, do I want to support a local business or do I want to just kind of like have a larger selection? So, I, you know, like both, <laughs> I guess. I like both. The uh, third question is, do you prefer to buy books when they are brand new, being the first to touch them, it being in great condition, or do you prefer used ones, the book having character, history, and personality? So I tend to buy my books new. I do like having them on my shelves and having them in you know really nice condition is kind of what I'm going for. But I do also buy like a fair amount of used books. Usually I obtain used books by, you know, trading other books in for credit. And so then it's like, I feel better about getting them because I am like not paying for them, you know, because I've used this, this credit. And sometimes the variety can be interesting. Sometimes you get like really fun covers or, you know, like books can be hard to find sometimes, or if it's like, you know, something that I'm not super sure I'm going to love, like if I can find it used, that's great. You know, I think my library has a used bookstore and the proceeds when you purchase that, like directly go to help them out. So like, I feel pretty good about doing that. So yeah, I mean, like I, I definitely prefer new, but used is fine. I do get a little bit weird about used books. Like I will wipe them down with like Clorox wipes or whatever. I don't know why I'm so weird about it, but I, I definitely do that. The fourth question is, are you a coupon TLC level crazy person or a full price Sweet 16 MTV? So I love a good coupon. I refuse to pay full price for anything. <laughs> like sometimes it'll be pretty close to full price, but like even just going into stores, like we're a Barnes and Noble member. So that gives you 10% off in stores. So like that's something at least, but yeah, I like, I like to find a good coupon or a good sale <laughs> and given how many books I buy and given the fact that I am a grad student at this point, you know, like I'm trying to not spend all the money on things and books get really expensive. So I try to find sales when possible and you know sometimes when i have like gift cards it's not as important but i, I definitely you know try to find a good coupon the fifth question is read researched analyzed sherlock holmes styles or impulse buyer like a shopaholic so these days i definitely research books before i buy them i think you know with back in the day before you know like the internet <laughs> and booktube before i joined goodreads like it was really hard to find new recommendations. And so that I think was when I impulse bought a lot of stuff, just going into stores, browsing things like, oh, this sounds interesting. Let me just get it and not looking up reviews beforehand. So back in the day, I was much more of an impulse buyer. These days, I definitely look at reviews because like there are just so many books and my TBR pile is clearly out of control. And so I'm like trying to limit what I buy. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I do like, I guess, impulse buy because several books, but I've already like researched them beforehand. So I guess that's like kind of a combination of these. I don't know. I don't want to waste my time on something that's just kind of so so or you know, that would be better off getting through the library or just not prioritizing as much. So I definitely lean towards researching books before I buy them these days. The sixth question is like, do you buy I think a book or two at a time or just a full cart with just like trying to limit what I buy it? I try to do just a book or two at a time, but sometimes like I leave myself control behind. Like, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I think in my like 
last book haul I had talked about like I think I bought like six books at one time in Barnes & Noble because I just like could not stop myself I don't know so like sometimes I get a little bit crazy and impulsive but I try to limit myself but that you know no it doesn't always work so well the seventh question is new and recent releases or older and classics I definitely lean towards new and recent releases these days like I don't really have much of an interest in reading like classics certainly but that's not to say that I won't buy older releases especially in like sci-fi and fantasy ones that I haven't read or just like books that just like skipped skipped me by a few years ago things like that most of my book buying these days tends to be the newer releases especially like because I'm doing these new release videos every month like I get really hyped up for all these these books coming out and I'm like oh my god I just need them all so there's definitely a lot of that going on the eighth question is are you a pre-order total fan freak or wait until it arrives at the bookshop because it can wait uh, it, it depends on the book like if it's the Dresden Files or something that I'm like really 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 into then I will pre-order it I usually don't pre-order that many books unless there's like a really deep discount on Amazon <laughs> or just like some sort of pre-order bonus or things like that I don't think I tend to pre-order that many books and it's, it's also nice just like if you go into a bookstore and they happen to have it then it's like you pick it up right away like I think that's kind of what I did with um, A Court of Silver Flames when that came out earlier this year like I think I had missed the pre-order time and like Amazon was doing weird stuff about like it was not going to arrive in a timely manner if you pre-ordered it so I just waited until release day and then went to Barnes & Noble and picked it up and it was I think oh it was also a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition which is why I like kind of wanted to wait on that the ninth question is do you prefer special expensive beautiful covers sprayed edges and unique editions or is the inside of the book what counts so I don't I usually don't buy like really expensive editions I will admire them and you know think that they look pretty and kind of like be envious of my friends who buy those generally I do like sprayed edges I will say with Barnes & Noble they do have some exclusive editions and usually it's just like a little bit of extra content so I will tend to purchase those because they're usually the same price as the normal books but yeah I definitely don't often but like pay extra for special editions the tenth question is do you show your love by buying multiple copies or do you believe in single true love so I mostly have just one copy of books like I have a couple of editions of Lord of the Rings but I think that's it actually like I don't own multiple copies of books and so that's why usually like I have a mix of like paperback and hardback like sometimes I have like you know look looking back here we have some mass markets and then it jumps to hardcover so I just kind of have like a <laughs> mishmash of editions with my series but I'm okay with that I don't go out of my way to buy multiple copies like I think I would then have stress of like which edition do I read so I yeah single single true love for me the 11th question is to name your favorite places to bookshop so like I've mentioned like a bazillion times like I do really like going to Barnes and Noble it's definitely I think the biggest bookstore probably at this point at least in our area there are a lot of local stores that I've I have enjoyed you know like back in Arizona there's Bookman's which is a used bookstore and I you know really love them you can, when I was trying to unhaul books you know like I would take them to Bookman's and sell them and then get that that trading credit it's not only a bookstore but they also have like video games music DVDs stuff like that so it was really nice to be able to like have that trading credit to buy whatever I wanted and there's like Powell's in Oregon which is really nice my best friend used to live in Portland and you know like when I visited him a while back like we went to Powell's and it was a really cool bookstore then like I guess some more local ones to our area there's I think it's Mr. Mike's used books and that's where I'm like currently going to unhaul my books and you know get some trading credit it's actually really nice it's kind of small but they had a really great selection there's also Flyleaf and I think they're the ones that focus a lot on North Carolina authors our local game store which is also our local comic store is Atomic Empire and they often do like 20% off of graphic novels which is amazing because those things are really expensive so yeah I mean I've, I've found like a few local stores that I really like but I think generally like Barnes & Noble is my default so with that I guess the last part of this is to tag some people so I'm gonna tag Leslie from the nerdy narrative Justine from I should read that Lana from Lauren lullabies and Carrie from Carrie Louise reads with that I guess let me know in the comments what you thought of this tag I'll leave the questions listed in the description below if you want to answer any of them and I guess just for your question of the day we'll just say like choose one of those questions or all of them if you want to to answer 
So I do have a Discord channel, and if you want to join that, the link is in the description below. I hope you're all having an excellent day and are reading something awesome. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up as that would certainly help me out. But with that, I think I'm going to wrap it up here and see you in the next one.